Here's an example of how to add rational expressions. In this case, we have an addition to rational expressions, to things that uh, have expressions in them that look like fractions. And notice that in the denominator, we have two polynomials or two trinomials. There's three terms in each case, and they're probably factorable. Now, if they're not factorable, the only way we'd get a common denominator, which is the way you want to add these, you know, by getting the common denominator, you have to multiply these out. So I'm thinking that these can probably be factored. So let's try that. Let's factor the two den denominators first. So 4 divided by, if the left denominator can be factored, it will be the product of two binomials. We have an x squared here, so we'll put an x and an x. The middle term is 9, and the end term is 14. So I'm looking for two numbers. When I add them, I get 14. When I multiply, I get 9. And I think 7 and 2 will do it. So 7 times 2 is 14, and 7 plus 2 is 9. So 7 and 2, and we have two positive signs because everything is positive here. All right. Now we go ahead and look at the second fraction. And uh, we have, again, a polynomial of three terms. And we can probably factor that. If we can, we get a 2x and an x there, because x times 2x is 2x squared. Here, I have a 7. I'm looking for two numbers. When I multiply, I get a 7. Uh, well, there's only one choice. It's 1 and 7. And I will need positive signs, because everything is positive. Now, where do I put the 1 and where do I put the 7? Since the middle term is 15, and I know that I'm going to multiply these two terms together and these two terms together, to get a number big enough to get 15, I will have to put the 7 there, because 7 times 2 is 14, and 7 times 2x is 14x, and then if I put the 1 there, 1 times x is 1x, 14x plus 1x gives me 15x, and that's the right answer. Now, do I have any commonalities between the two denominators and yes I do I have an x plus 7 here and I have an x plus 7 there but here I have an x plus 2 and there I have a 2x plus 1 so they're not quite common to make them common I will have to multiply the left denominator by 2x plus 1 and I will have to multiply the right denominator by x plus 2 then I will have a common denominator so let's do that and of course don't forget whatever we do to the denominator we must also do to the two numerators so for the first fraction here, I have an x plus 7 times an x plus 2. And I will have to multiply that by what I don't have on the left side and I do have on the right side, which is a 2x plus 1. Of course, since I multiply the denominator of the first fraction by 2x plus 1, I must multiply the numerator by that as well. So this will be 4 times 2x plus 1. And a quick check shows that we haven't made any mistakes. If we cancel out the 2x plus 1 by dividing one by the other, we'll end up with what we started with. On the second fraction here, we have 3 divided by 2x plus 1 times x plus 7. And the part that I don't have is the x plus 2, which the left side has, so I have to multiply the right side by x plus 2, at least the denominator, and of course must also multiply the numerator by x plus 2. Again, if I allow that to be canceled out, if this disappears and that disappears, I end up with what I started with on the right side, so no mistakes. Now you can see that the two denominators are the same. They don't have the same order, but that doesn't matter because with multiplication it doesn't matter what order they have. I have an x plus 7, I have an x plus 2, and I have a 2x plus 1 in each of the two denominators, which means I can write the whole addition on one single denominator over one single denominator. So this is equal to x plus 7 times x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. In the denominator, I end up with 4 times this, which is 8x plus 4 when I multiply this out. And on the right side, since I have a plus, I don't have to worry about the minus sign. I can simply multiply this out. So this is plus 3x plus 6. And now I just have to add the common terms. So this becomes 8x plus 3x, which is 11x. 4 plus 6 is plus 10. And divided by x plus 7 times x plus 2 times 2x plus 1. And that's the final answer because I cannot simplify anything. I cannot factor anything from the numerator. So that's the final answer for this one. And that's how you do that. So let me show you a few more of these examples.